it's happening, this is it, the start of demolition work. Sum up your emotions. Goosebumps, really, uh, thinking about this, thinking about what we're going to be doing in 2019 uh, on the piece of land over there. Uh, what a day, what a big day. You've been involved in some special projects and special clubs in the past. How excited are you about this and what's the way forward now? This is one of the, the greatest narratives of football, to be honest, you know, about the club coming full circle, bringing Wimbledon back to Wimbledon. You know, it's been a dream for everybody since since 2002. So, you know, now this, the realisation is finally happening. This is like the final the final hurdle, if you like. Um, so, you know, now that demolition's really started, I think people can really feel that the process is really underway. It's almost like a dream, really. I mean, uh, we wanted to get back up as far as the league as, as soon as we could when we reformed, but if you'd said to me that we would have been in, not only in the league in under 10 years, but back at Plough Lane in under 20, then uh, you know I wouldn't have believed you at all. So uh, it's, it's just absolutely unbelievable. And 30 years on from Bobby Gould addressing the Tony Gubber, I think it was at Wembley, I'm tempted to kind of look at the camera and wink and say, we did it. When you get a band of people who are so determined of all the people that have been involved, Ivor, Eric, uh, but I could go on and on naming all the people that were involved, but all those people over the years uh, and all the fans especially have uh, banded together and, and made it happen. The return of uh, Wimbledon to, to, to Plough Lane, it's, uh, obviously it's a culmination of a lot of hard work but also it kind of embodies all the, the kind of the fairy tales that we've had over the years in Wimbledon. We've always been about turning the unlikely and the improbable into reality and this is the ultimate example of that. In Wimbledon history, Dave Bassett and Plough Lane go together and it was important he was here today. Yeah, I'm delighted he was, be able, he was able to be here today and, and he jumped at the chance, uh, which I think shows how committed he is to what we're doing and, and where we're going. Uh, similarly, Ian, who's been a fantastic supporter of us um, from, from day one. There were all sorts of places we looked at where we might build a stadium. But there's only one place where we really wanted to build a stadium and to have them here today, uh, it makes it full circle, doesn't it? A momentous day, uh, a, a day when we can start to think of a stadium as our own. Uh, and then working on from there. I thought they were going to get me in one of the uh, cranes and start knocking it down, but uh, you know, a lot of my shots used to do that. So, uh, no, it's brilliant to, to be here today to see it's the start of the demolition which is needed and, uh, and the progression of the club to build a brand new stadium. So, it's, uh, it's brilliant. When the digger first went in there, it was similar to a Selwyn Rice or a Vinnie Jones crunching tackle on that one. Absolutely remorseless there, that's a JCB. Uh, some may he came, in, he came in from the wrong side of the building, therefore, it should have been some sort of free. Kick. Yeah, it was a bit like Vinny, it was a bit amateurish to start with, <laughs> and then he improved. And it was a very special moment as well, we had two Wimbledon greats, Ian Cook and Dave Bassett here, plus local school children as well, and that's part of the way forward with this club now. Yeah, absolutely, I mean, you know, when, when the club left, you know, what, what it basically did was, you know, a lot of people who, who were here, lived here, they lost football, and there were an awful lot of people and kids that, that grew up without it, you know, so they've never known a football club here, so to have this back now on the doorstep, suddenly going to be you know, an incredible experience for people. Being a very residential area, there's going to be a lot of people that would like to come and watch and they will be very welcome and hopefully we can at least double our gate up to sort of near the 10,000 mark because that would help to promote the club and take the club even further forward. There's people out here, you've got to make sure that they grow up and instead of going to Chelsea or Fulham or any of these other teams, that they think, well, let's go to Wimbledon. Everything that we can do to promote the club will be done. Where do we go from here? Well, um, what's going on in the background, uh, invisible to most people, is the, is the further design of the stadium. We, we've, we've got a, appointed a contractor based on a quote uh, using the planning drawings. Now we've got to get detailed drawings with a view to getting a fixed price contract come May, end of May, I think. Uh, and then starting once this site is cleared and uh, a new word from me, remediated, which means got ready for us to build our stadium on. And it will be handed to us in that condition. We're not doing this, it's being done for us, uh, but signed off by Merton and then we can start building. I think it's autumn, late autumn, before we'll be able to do that and then full speed ahead.